Michael, initially it was lower. It seems to have clawed its way into the green. What do you make of this morning's report? Well, I think it was a good report on balance. Um, I think the, what you just referenced with respect to some of the reaction shows that there's a little something for everyone. But you know, I would focus on a couple of the positive things that I think came away, the most important of which is the progress that the company is making in generating free cash flow. Uh, as most people who follow the industry recognize, the media industry, the, the television media industry in particular, is facing a number of challenges with respect to consumer behavior moving away from linear TV and into streaming. And how the media companies are tackling this is probably the single most important issue it, it, for the industry. Um, Warner Brothers Discovery is a company that is generating positive free cash flow as it is navigating this challenge. Uh, which is a commitment that they made to the street when they made uh, when they completed uh, their acquisition of the former Time Warner assets, uh, and they're delivering against that commitment uh, both you know up to this point uh, on this quarter and as they look forward. So there are a number of other things to discuss, but you ask about the one most important thing to take away, and I think that's what it is. That seems to be a theme, too, if you look at some of the sell-side research that has come out in the wake of that report, the free cash flow, obviously a beat there. How does that stack up against some of Warner Brothers' peers in the industry right now? Um, a very fair question, and the peer group can be uh, described a little broadly. Most people think about the traditional media industry or the, the television channels-based industry, companies like Disney, Paramount, and Fox, uh, each would have different, which have different pros and cons. But in general, uh, the launch of streaming services and the growth of streaming services by the companies I just referenced, uh, if they have embarked on them, so Paramount uh, and Disney in particular, has been accompanied by some pretty material losses. Yep. Um, we would call those investments, of course, as the companies are looking to build a, a business with long-term growth potential. But by contrast, Warner Brothers Discovery uh, has moved really close to profitability at their streaming business. And like we said, has maintained a very positive level uh, of both profitability and free cash flow um, on a consolidated basis. The other thing I would mention uh, is that I do think it is worth discussing Netflix in that conversation. Mm. Certainly, Netflix came from a place uh, that didn't have a, the legacy baggage uh, and focus solely on a streaming business. But I think that that type of business is what a company like Warner Brothers Discovery should be thinking of and targeting mm -hmm. as they think about their objectives. So when I look at Warner Brothers Discovery and what it said, they tempered their full year guidance, saying the performance will really depend on when the labor strikes get resolved and, of course, the state of the advertising market. You mentioned Netflix. Netflix is a clear beneficiary of the strikes because it doesn't have to spend as much money. Does Warner Brothers Discovery also benefit the longer the strike drags on? Um, well, it's a complicated topic. I want to point out a couple of things. Um, I'm not 100 percent sure I agree that Netflix is a beneficiary. Uh, of the strikes. I, like, there, there are puts and takes. Uh, both Netflix and Warner Brothers Discovery have certain characteristics uh, that position them better than the industry at large mm. in the context of the strikes. Okay. Netflix has a very diverse uh, pool uh, geographically that they're able to draw from uh, with respect to populating their service with new content. So to the extent that the strikes are a domestic uh, phenomenon or event, uh, this is a company that generates the most, the, the greatest amount of its content sure. on a percentage basis from markets outside the U.S. And so that is a, a net benefit for them, even though I think the strike could be a challenge for them. Similarly, with Warner Brothers Discovery, uh, it's, a, it's a business uh, that generates a significant portion of its attention and revenue uh, from content genres that are not strike impacted. So that's nonfiction content, it's sports content, it's news content. You know, we estimate on their linear businesses that over 90% of their ratings uh, come from those areas rather than scripted. So right. relative to other businesses, they, meet, they are somewhat better insulated. But overall, every one of these companies for the long term will be better off with a resolution uh, on these uh, talent strikes.